Okay. Um, okay, let's say at the end of this video is the full video. His full video, okay? So, uh, so go to the end and watch that if you like. It's seven minutes or you can uh, jump back and forth as we talk about it. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, first things first. Step zero before you do a manalaris, a little affirmation, affirmation of recognition. Uh, and, and it's stupid that I put this in your Yodrato, but uh, I want to practice your Yodrato. Nobody's really watching this. And also, um, and also uh, it's safe space. Now, I don't actually... Oh, that is my black horn. Okay, so I just, I'm just out of black. Okay, uh, if the bet, the bets, it's plural, are true, and the bets, uh, par, the tav, okay, meaning um, if, like, the, the premises given are true and lead, so, so if the argument is sound, and they lead to the conclusion, so the argument is valid or valid enough, then I will agree with the tab. So I will accept the conclusion. Say that. You got to say that out loud. And it's hard and it feels gross, especially with a video like this. Uh, but, uh, but it's something that we just need to announce um, to give ourselves a chance of sort of taking it seriously. Oh, wait. Wouldn't it be better on point five? Okay. So... All right, I, I can't say it again, though. I feel so gross. All right, now we're going to do it. If, um, if we're able to identify this guy's suit, the overarching tab of the whole, of the whole thing, his conclusion, his tab, so his soup, soup tab, then... Uh, no, sorry, what did I say? Oh, yeah, if we can identify that, uh, maybe that should be our next step now. We will believe it if his bets are true and lead to it. So if his bets par is soup, then we will accept his, his soup to have. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that today. There's so much said. And everything said requires so much um, manalaris. It requires so much heiress, so much investigation. Um, okay, so we need a word for that. We need a word for when we dig in to something and we investigate it. to see whether it is empirically founded and reasonable, to see whether it is true, to see whether a thing is true. Um, so when we, when we jam about a specific uh, thing, when we investigate, um, When, because what our goal will be, we want to be able to douse it definitively if it's not true. So it doesn't come back. It's no longer considered a par. Dounce it is to, to reject it, to, to label it as having been rejected, to stamp it done. Okay. And then, and the opposite of that is to allow it. Oh, I've been saying allow because I forgot about allow. Because I, A-Y-E, meaning to, okay, I didn't believe you or agree with you before, or I didn't understand before. Gosh, it's kind of ambiguous, but, but now I do, okay? 
so to allow it. Um, so we need to determine whether we're going to dounce or allow the different um, sort of sub cases or the different uh, su cases. So the it is of course a an an underpinning it of a uh, cognitive. It's an underpinning cognitive process. Um, so you say something, and we're like, "Hmm, I wonder what the suzits are there. Like, what what led to that?" And it's implied with this term that it's something that you didn't experience, or you don't you didn't immediately have access to. Um, so kind of an unconscious uh, it. Anyway, just something you, we don't know about. We gotta, we have to, because uh, we want to shine the vit, which is the real Suzet. Um. So anyway, so so what what, what is it? Okay. What did, What about this? investigate whether you're investigating in it you're trying to trace or you're trying to peer the suzits or you're um investigating like a premise and an argument and you're checking whether it's reasonable and true. Not in the case of when you're investigating in it necessarily. That's more of just whether is it adaptive, is it, or what is it, what is the it? Because even if we just find out what the it is, we'll know whether it should be playing, a, whether it should be living or not, whether we want it to or not. So here's what I'm, here's, so we have the French word. It's not by choice that I'm going, you know, that this is, that I'm doing this this way. It's just the way it's coming out of my head. And I just got to let it come out. Okay, to investigate. Okay, enquête, or we'll just conjugate it. Enquête, or that's an investigation. Okay. Um, so we have one option is ket. So when we ket in it, or when we ket a premise, we're looking into it. We're trying to figure out, should we dance it or allow it? Now we're applying, definitely applying, we definitely want to know, is it empirical? Is it reasonable? I don't know how we, of course, want to be using imagination skepticism as we're doing that. But uh, but this is really what we're looking for. So could do that, but I feel like I want to save that acronym for something else. Something that, you know, that's better represented by the word rise than the imagery. We can say raise. We'll pronounce that raise. And that's good because you can think of it as raise, where we're flattening it, we're destroying it, or raise. We're going to say, okay, this thing is true, and we all validate it. Okay. So we're going to raise. Um, so there are times when you're doing a manalaris where you have to identify what the premise is and then raise it.
and cat will just say for the its. Cat is to investigate what in it is to try to peer it. Okay. I like rays though. Okay. Um, we'll let the audit just be, uh, you know, the system to it, the, 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 you know, the two it's okay. So, um, so I'll just put for step zero, um, affirmation of willingness to believe. Okay. Um, so, what are what are we calling our statements, or the uh, you know the pieces that we're gonna raise? Um, because the cast is the overarching claim. Okay, let's just do the sec. Okay, so we got to raise the sec. Okay. Gosh, I really do think I must be manic. Oh, I'm just making a video where I'm just in, making up sounds and and giving them reasons and and I apologize for that. Um, but look, it's also possible. Like, surely I'm overdoing it. Um, I have a pretty good vocabulary, but I'm sure there's so many much stuff in dictionaries that we could use. Probably words that you don't know either way. The, in either. The point is, though, that a lot of, I feel like what I'm doing, it, we don't have the language for it in everyday communication to talk about it. Um, and then the second thing is, by having certain words uh, that are specific to this, then we know what we're talking about. We always know the context. We know that we're talking about the mind's reasoning. We know that we're talking about evaluating an argument. So these words give a, the context is built into the words. Um, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so, um, so we need to identify the, what is his cast, right? So what is the cast? Okay, and then also um, we need to raise the raise the sex. Okay, um, and the sex is any particular claim. So you want to is the is it does it pill is it is it relevant? Is it empirically founded? And then just like, let's imagine that it it's possible as we're looking at that. Let's be skeptical of ourselves. And of course we are. Actually, this whole process is... So actually, if you take out the eye, because I don't really know how to justify the eye. But no, let's keep it like that. Anyway, so, um, okay. All right, let's go into the video. So there's a bunch of stuff in here that just sets off a lot of alarms. For me that he's auditing a lot of there's a lot of stuff shopping and i gotta get that look at that look at that those eyes clearly these these are the lawyers in him t in talking the way he uh like he's presenting a case uh his, you know just um and then sometimes he holds his hands fingers together uh, there we go yeah <laughs> look these aren't maybe good reasons to invalidate him but i do feel like these are symptoms of an ajit when we ajit we uh you know we're presenting our case uh, let's play this out majority of these college students honestly know exactly what they're protesting for the majority of these okay all right, um, I just so debate like he's like so in his. The majority of these college students are here on government on a government loan. <sighs> so 
So, I mean, can we just look at... Like, is, does, is that pill? Like, does that have... What, how is that related? How is that bet? Um, the idea, I guess, the sentence would be, uh, well, given that, so if they are here on government loan, then they are dumb, maybe? Um, so maybe that's what we can infer is uh, one of, is, is a sec. Um, well, no, there's two sects. All right, well, because the, the, there's a sec, they are on government loan. That's a sec that we need to raise. Is that empirically based? Is that true? Um, that was that fact is supposed to par the idea, the tab that they are, um, that they are dumb. I guess that's the that's the implied tab there. So. So, and we need to look at that sec as well. That if that that um, to see if to see if that's a good it, if that's a good reason, a low jump, a good low jet, low get, low jet, which is uh, okay. All right, so okay. So that's not like an it in the mind necessarily, but if we were to write down the argument on paper, we could maybe write it as write the uh, write we we would write low jets. We're not really writing the psychological mechanisms, but we're writing sort of the implied argument. Um, the okay, so uh, so the it right includes if then, so it has the bet and the tab. If this, then this. So if this, then this, which means that when we're raising a logit, what we're looking at is this. Suppose that if this, suppose this, this, does that actually lead to this? Is that a good move? Uh, and then if it's not, it's a melogit. And if it is, it's a benogit. I don't know. Yeah, fine. Benojit. Because we don't want to say belojit. Sounds like bullshit or baloney. All right, we, we've got... Okay, cat... No, we're not using... Oh, yeah, the, okay. Raise... Investigate... Um, you know, a cast... Um, and you raise in particular a sec, you raise each sec and each of its secs. Okay. And then uh, a sec. Each item uh, can be evaluated. Um, like each like item or assertion, um, you try to keep it basic and elemental, and then um, and let me just add to my logit. Oops, sorry, buddy. My logit post it. Where's my logit? Logit, 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 logit. Bonnet system reconcile it. Majora it. Logit, logit. All right. Yeah, like an argument, premise, conclusion. Okay, great. All right, great. It's already up there. Okay. Um, if you want, you could say that a logit can be broken up into two sacks. There's this sack, this claim that this is true. And then this claim that 
this being true means that this is true. So every load hit has two sects to, to investigate, uh, to raise. Okay. Very good. Okay, so let's 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 go back to let's identify the Kess and the Essex. Um oops. Okay, so the Kess uh, and, and and nobody's head is there like actually a clear Kess. Like that's work that they would have to do themselves. So I mean we're giving them a lot of benefit or I don't know, never mind. But no, it is true that the, the Kess itself doesn't exist. The mind is such a mess. Um, it really does just boil down to this and this. Um, you know, in a dialysis, it's easier. Both of you have to, you have to try to figure out what the other person's Kess might be. And you work on that together and they say, okay, yeah, that's my Kess. And then maybe right off the bat, they'll see problems in it themselves. Um, so the Essek here is who's the good guy basically Israel or Palestine and his Kess is um, Palestine are the bad guys So that's his, uh, that's his soup tav. So then we need to, we need to flesh that out. We, we need to add to that because all we have right now is the tav, tav. We need the bet. So like why, why, because what, based on what? So let's say from the things that we heard, Um, so what's the, so Palestinians are, frankly, wasn't this it, are barbaric. I mean, maybe this isn't, maybe this, I'm not, you know, being nice here. Um, maybe I'm not being fair to him. Maybe I'm not being fair, but, uh. But like, what was he saying? Because they are, so they're, first of all, they're violent, right? And, um, I mean, are they not primitive as well? Um, no, violent and Muslim, because that was a big deal. Because he didn't say anything bad about religion. It was the fact that they're into uh, they're super extreme in Islam. I guess it's the violent here. Palestinians are violent. So that's our bet. Uh, uh, which means that they are the bad guys. <clears throat> Maybe that's... I don't know. It's hard. It's hard because maybe you can't put the bet in their mouths. We know that this is the tav. We know that this is the conclusion. We know that this is the soup. Okay, what everything else is supposed to lead to. Uh, it, Palestine are the Palestinians. Palestine are the bad guys. Israel. Palestine. All right. Step one would be something like this of Manalitis. Step zero, an affirmation of your own willingness to believe. Then step zero, step one is, all right, so what is this thing that I might believe? All right. Well, step one can just be the tab then. And then step two can be identifying the bets. 
What are the bets? But here's what we've forgotten. Well, what about... No, this kind of, does this guy even deserve these steps? No, no, no. No, no, no. This is all a part two of Manalaris, like we talked about, when we're actually raising it. When we're actually raising his, uh, his, um, Kess. Right. Okay. So this is step two. So raising the Kess. When you're raising the Kess, you're going to have to, I, I mean, part two. <sighs> part two. No, but you can define it before in part one. That That is also good. Not that I should do, but am I recording? Okay. Um, because, like, the first thing is, if you're not even able to define it, and you gave it a good effort, then maybe, maybe that, that, you know, maybe we should just walk away from that. I don't know. If you're not able to... But honestly, if you bend into not, if you give enough of benefit of the doubt, you'll be able to uh, identify one. No, but before all this, before all this, no, this is all part two. Also, this affirmation of willingness to believe. That's part two. Okay. All right, hold on. Let's let's pause. Let me think. Oh, let's pause. Majority of these college students honestly know exactly what they're protesting for. The majority of these college students are here on a government loan. They are studying something unbelievably stupid. They are basically being built for money. They have no idea. It's the next cool thing to do. The average person, I think, at these protests is the kid that isn't cool or good looking enough to be invited to a house party. So because they're not invited to a house party, they make their own, which is out here, which is why what happens when they summon these people with a flyer, 10,000 of them show up. These are 10,000 people with nowhere else to be, fundamentally. So, no, I don't believe that they have any idea what they're protesting. I don't think they know about what the green line is or the 87 or the 67 borders or the 48 war. These people don't know what river and what sea. I think they think it's like from the like from the, the Hudson River to the Atlantic, maybe? Like, they have no idea what river and what sea. Yeah. <clears throat> and who is on the right side? Are, who, sh who should the people be supporting? People of Israel, Palestine, or should it just be everyone come together and find peace? You cannot logically and fruitfully say that you support the people of Palestine for several reasons. One, they elected Hamas. They are amongst the most religiously Muslim countries or territories in the world. This idea that they're these beautiful, friendly people, they are extreme. They are like ISIS level. They want a caliphate. So that's number one. Number two, the word Palestinian was created in 1967 by Yasser Arafat after they lost yet another war. They are Jordanian. In fact, if one is honest, every Arab state that we know today was created after 1917. People talk about the division of Palestine, but real Palestine was right after World War One. That included all of Jordan. So what they want is not a two-state solution. What they want is a four-state solution. They want Israel, Gaza, Jordan, and the West Bank. And on top of that, it's not even counting Syria, Lebanon, and all the other Levantine Arab countries. The reality is, is that these people who have become the most metastasized form of Islamist in that region are not wanted by other Arabs. Other Arabs are so happy to push them in their fight with Israel and don't want to take a single one of them. That's what it comes down to. If they are Arabs, they belong in other Arab countries. So if you're going to support someone, if you want peace, the answer is population swaps, and it's to create an actual Jewish state with its own borders, without a constant need to somehow provide food and water to its neighbors who also hate them. And is there anything I, I got kicked out of Colombia? Yes, I got kicked out of Colombia by the people inside of the Palestinian camp. Is there anything I should know before going back today? A, these people are all cowards. There's a video, I think, out there of me where I'm yelling, you know, kind of hurtful, but I think relatively well said things at them. They don't do anything. These people are cowards. They swarm in large numbers. Take a few of your friends with you. Stand your ground. They are absolute cowards. Next time you want to go over there, how did you get in, by the way? Did you have a pass? I figured out a way to get in. So that's the issue. I was going to say I'll join you, but the problem is it's not, I'm not exactly, I'm good at walking powerfully forward. I'm not good at climbing over things. So I don't know how I would get in. My recommendation to you is interviewing these people 
is about as wise and fruitful as interviewing your cat. You're not going to get any interesting answers out of them, and they're going to hit that wall of cognitive dissonance where they don't know the answer to the questions, and they're just going to get angry. And you're not dealing with the best. You're not dealing with Columbia's best. To the extent Columbia has any best left. So my recommendation to you is interview them in small pieces because you're just not going to get, you're not going to produce very much okay. if you do it otherwise. That's what I would recommend to you. Do you think America should be involved with this conflict? Because we are about 6,000 miles away from what is going on. Do you think we should be involved with what's going on? So this is one of the, uh, the unfortunate parts of the right and the more fringe parts keep arguing, what does it matter to us? I mean, what do you mean, what does it matter to us? This is the only foothold of the West in in the world and certainly in the Mideast. If you look around the rest of the, of the planet, look at every Western country. Open borders, no free speech, limitless immigration. They give the immigrants all the benefits. They allow them to, to riot on the streets. Israel and America are the only two countries left that have any amount of, of control of their borders, of freedom of speech, of freedom of religion. And that is why these people hate Israel so much. To many people, it isn't even about the Jews. It's actually a hatred of any country they perceive as being white and as having closed borders and any kind of nationalism. Israel, to them, is the last bastion of this, and they hate it so much because they they only see the world in terms of brown and white. Israel is whiter, their opponents are browner, they must be right. And as far as why it matters to us, the amount of money we're throwing out there, look at some of these agencies, how much money they're taking up for nothing. They are not even close to the amount of money we sent to Israel, which only can use it to buy our weapons anyway. And the final thought, and this is very important, we give Israel money to, because we want them to upkeep this endlessly defensive war with their neighbors. People on the left think that if we stop giving Israel money, Israel will just disappear. Israel, if, if we stop giving Israel money, Israel will have to start fighting offensive wars using their actual military might because it's much more expensive to sit in this endless stalemate and defend your savage neighbors crossing your borders than it is to just flat out push them out, right? That is a, that is a luxury to live this way. And what we're being pushed upon is effectively anti, it is effectively the racism of lowered expectations. Israel's being told by the West that you need to be better than them. And the and why do, why do these so-called progressives think this way? Are they suggesting that they think that Arabs are, what, unable to make better decisions than Jews? Is that what they're saying? So if you stop funding Israel, Israel will have to go on a war path because Israel is never disappearing. Israel is a 1900-year-old dream of the Jewish people. We predate just about every other culture on the planet. We're not going away. Not again. So if you stop giving us money, we're just going to have to find it ourselves. So that would be unfortunate for everybody. And Israel also, America pays for a little influence, or as you see now, quite a bit of influence over Israeli politics. It's pay to play. In Russia, we have a saying, he who pays for the, he who pays for the band orders the music. So if you stop paying for the music, don't be surprised when the band plays songs you don't like. At the end of the day, this war and battle that is going on is between religion, race, and land. All of it. All three, all three are mixed together with the, you know, obviously with the addition that Jews are one of the few, what we call an ethno-religious group, which is it's a group that has kept largely the same religion and because of that, the same ethnicity. And it's the two feedback Sikhs are the other example of this. So yes, it's all, it's all three of those things mixed together, which in the Mideast is not surprising. And we're going to have an election in 2024. Yes, what president, what president do you think will be best to control the situation? There is simply no question about this topic. We had four years, three years, if you don't count COVID, of Donald Trump where there were no conflicts. Russia made no territorial gain. Iran actually kept to its borders, and there was no war just about anywhere. Now, unfortunately, when dealing with people who live and think like savages, you cannot show weakness, you cannot show moral equivocacy, and you can't not try to play the both sides argument. There is no question that Donald Trump is setting aside if he's better for America or not. He is so much better for the Mideast, and he is better for peace because... The answers speak for themselves. The answers speak for themselves. Majority of these college students 